Image manipulation, or the unethical digital modification of images, is a serious issue, in STEM research. Using readily available software programs, some unethical researchers, alter laboratory obtained images, and enhance, or deteriorate certain features, to make their fake stories, look more believable. This adversely affects, the advancement of their field of study, when researchers start going in the wrong direction, because of the published paper, that contains these digitally altered images. After spending a lot of time, money, and resources, multiple research groups from around the world, eventually realize, that the original images were manipulated, because they are unable to reproduce the results, under the same exact conditions. So how do we fix this? Well, luckily, there are several ways of addressing, this serious issue. First of all, journal editors must make it mandatory, for all authors, to submit raw data, and original images, obtained from their experiments, to the journal's central repository, for permanent archiving. These images should then be analyzed by experts, who can easily detect, image manipulation fraud. Whenever such fraud gets detected, journals should place an immediate ban, on the principal investigator, and fraudulent researcher, for not adopting the right measures at the grassroot level. They should also make it a point, to notify the corresponding funding agency and research institute, about the overall findings. This can serve as a huge deterrent to principal investigators, who directly or indirectly encourage image manipulation, in their research laboratories. Reviewers must also share this responsibility, by questioning the legitimacy, of laboratory obtained images, and the associated findings. Graphical experts alone, cannot accomplish this task. Why? Because some researchers, do not digitally alter images, at all. Instead, they obtain them, using fraudulent techniques, or unusual sources. Therefore, detecting this kind of sophisticated fraud, requires excellent teamwork. What are your thoughts, on dealing with image manipulation? Any brand new ideas? Do let us know, in the comments section below.